I told him, Oscar, take Bart if you're gonna go to San Francisco. There's too many people. So what was in my mind is that I trusted off my son to get on Bart, thinking that he would be okay on Bart, that Bart's, the Bart system would be okay, that the police would be okay, that the whole system would be okay, that he would come home safely. Never did I expect to get a call in the morning to say that my son had been shot, that he had been killed, that he had been murdered. Never did I expect to get that. I wake up every night thinking, what if I wouldn't have asked my son to, and instructed my son to get on board? What would have happened? But I can't change any of that. But I know one thing that needs to be changed is the police brutality right. that goes on. That's right. That's you know, right. there's killings, senseless killings by officers for no reason. You know, I think about the seven-year-old girl who was killed. I think about the uh, Mexican guy who was killed. I think about Sean Bell who was killed. Senseless killings. And there is no reprimand for these killings. And we as a society have accepted the killings saying that our black and our brown young men are worthless and they're worth nothing. And so if they're killed, our excuse will be they're going for their waistband. And it's a totally poor excuse. Every one you see, every murder that you go look at almost with the brown and the African American young men is because the police are saying that they're going for their waistband. Something has to change. I'm crying every night and every day. It was a senseless killing. And I tell you one thing, if it would have been turned around where it would have been two people that killed someone there and there was another aggressor, they both would have been charged. And so what do I feel? I feel that Tony also should be charged with some type of crime. I don't think that he should be left without facing any charges. If it was you and your friend that went out and killed somebody, you would, and your friend would be charged. So the same applies. Right. And so we need to have a system that not only applies to the citizens, but the system should also apply to the officers. What I seen in the video that was heart-wrenching to me was my son is taking that picture, letting us know, and letting me know, Mama, I'm not doing anything. If he was so aggressive during that time, do you think he would have had time to take videos and talk on the phone? If he was doing all that, what they're saying he's doing? That's what was hard. That he's still speaking to me, letting me know, Mama, I didn't deserve it, but he gave it to me. But he's paving a way for us to look at the judicial system and say we need some changes to be taken. Our hope is justice. Our hope is justice. And our hope is that this does not continue to happen to the brown and black races as it is happening. I hope that the police nations, stations all around would change the racial profiling that's taking place. Have you spent any time in court looking at Johannesburg? No, I'm praying for Johannesburg.